This is a production of WTVI PBS Charlotte. The sound of the school bell signals the end of class and the start of Girl Scouts. At all time, friendly and helpful. Well, if you're like me, when you see Girl Scouts, you can't help but think Girl Scout cookies. But today, this troop at Hidden Valley Elementary is trading in their Samoas for a quick lesson in STEM. Goggles strapped on for safety, these girls prepare to make fairy snot, transforming the school library into a science lab. Fairy snot is like this weird Play-Doh that is like watery and yucky. Natural scientists, they mix, measure, a quarter of a cup of water, and make observations. It was really thick and it was really weird how it turned from liquid to a solid. Colleen Young, who works with the Girl Scouts Hornets Nest Council, stresses the importance of exposing girls to science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM, at a young age. This really, truly can be a game changer for some girls. Young says Girl Scouts of the USA has a long history of encouraging girls to explore the world of STEM. In fact, the organization's first badge, the Naturalist Badge, is rooted in science. Leaders like Young hope Girl Scouts can connect these activities to careers in STEM, encouraging students like Leah DeChessa to follow their dreams. I want to be a doctor and a nurse to help people um, get better. One exercise that we do with the girls sometimes is just to draw a scientist. What does a scientist look like to you? And in many cases, um, before they're able to do our program, of course, they're typically drawing a, a male in that position. And by the end of the program, they start drawing themselves as scientists, and that's what's really key for us. Here in the microbiology lab at Central Piedmont Community College, instructor Lisa Spring says she sees more female students pursuing careers once dominated by men. They want to be doctors, they want to um, be dentists, they want to be ophthalmologists. Today, Spring leads a classroom full of young women studying how bacteria grows. What's going to happen to the oxygen that's in the jar? Many of these women hope to graduate with a two-year degree in dental hygiene. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, dental hygienists in North Carolina earn, on average, $66,000 a year. CPCC also offers a degree in nursing and occupational therapy assistant, both STEM jobs pulling in strong salaries. Statistics show, on average, registered nurses earn about $60,000 a year. Occupational therapy assistants bring in an annual salary of $55,000. Stella Foster says studying science is a dream come true. She's dreamed of wearing a white lab jacket since she was a little girl, after her involvement with a local museum piqued her interest. I think if I didn't have that exposure at all, I don't think I'd be nearly as interested in the STEM field. For these young women, experiments like this help bring science to life and take the intimidation out of a field saturated with men. When you watch and, and all of a sudden their eyes light up and it's, it, they physically go, oh! And then the smile on their face like, oh, I get it. Whether they're amazed or disgusted, yuckity, yuckity, yuck. science captures their attention as leaders like Spring and Young help break down barriers and mold the next generation of women in STEM fields. For Carolina Impact, I'm Danielle Koser reporting.